Hi guys and welcome to Vlogtember day 27. Today is my nan's birthday and also um, we had to have Peter put to sleep. Um, just, I was there and I, I can't believe he's not here anymore. I, I can't believe it like that. There's his empty cage. He's not there anymore and it's so hard to let somebody go like that because the vet said, you know, he had a tube tumour on his abdomen and the vet said well if he's got a quality of life then you know let him live but he was just led there and you know and I knew this was coming and it was just really really horrible and I loved Peter to death and I had him for five years which is a long time to bond with a pet like that and I miss him terribly and I lost him at 5.45 this evening and I just want to say that one of the best things is that I've got YouTube to sort of distract me from all these things and to help me through times like these and it just you know, I know he's in a safe place now, and I know he's safe. Yeah, um, my other guinea pig, William, he's still here, but it's just a massive gap missing. I'm definitely going to finish Vlogtember, but this is a massive change to my life. And I know it's only a guinea pig or a pet, but a pet is part of your family. I bought Peter up. I've had him since I was eight. Pardon me. And I bought him up. And, no, I was nine. I just turned nine. I've had him since I was nine. And, you know, I've bought him up. And we've been together for a long time. And it's, you know... A really really sad time but again I've got YouTube to fall back on and he's buried in my nan's garden I'm staying there tomorrow so I might show you the spot where he's buried because yeah I'm gonna make a little post for him and stuff because I lost my other guinea pig Henry Peter's brother um, I got them in 2008 on Christmas Day and I lost Henry just under a year after that um, he had um, kidney um, problems and it must have been a genetic thing because Henry and Peter were in the vet in the pet shop together but they were actually genetically you know they were related so it could have been something you know genetic you just don't know about these things so I'm gonna go on Facebook now and message Bradley about it and he would have already known and all my friends probably would have known before I upload this so yeah um thanks for all your guys support and I'm doing a twit cam later so Right guys, it's about 10 o'clock now and I'm just about to move Peter's cage out of my room. Um, I've just went on live stream um, with Bradley and a few other of my friends. I went on Twitcam. If you want to go follow me on Twitter, it's 5 Dubs. if you want to go and follow me. Um, but I just want to say to all my friends that are watching this video, I love every single one of you. Like, I love all of you, and it's just, I just, I actually generally can't believe, like, I was talking to Bradley about this, like, oh my god, I, I was hoping you'd make his fifth birthday and all this stuff, and, and, uh, it's a horrible feeling to know that You've got an empty cage in your room. Um, and oh, never cried on camera before, apart from yesterday and today's vlog. But just to know that you've got an empty cage in your room is horrible. It's the worst feeling in the world you've got two guinea pigs and you've got one of them missing it, it is the 
Life is the worst thing in the world. It really is. And it really is. And I loved him with all my heart. I looked after him. And I was a world boy him up. I just want to talk to you guys about this because I'd love to get it out of my system to be honest with you. Um, but it's just really, really horrible to know that the guinea pig's gone. I actually said to my mum in the car on the way back, I'm dreaming, aren't I? Like, this honestly can't be happening to me. Like, this honestly is, like, the worst feeling ever. You know. It's just nasty. It's a nasty feeling. And I'm definitely going to continue doing my videos, and I know it's a big change in my life, and but it's what keeps me going, you know, YouTube, and I, I enjoy doing vlogs and all this stuff, and, um, yeah, so I'd love to say thank you to you guys. That was his house that he slept in, and I'm going to give that to William. Um, William is my other guinea pig. Um, I'll get him out now to show you him. Okay, this is Will. This is my other guinea pig. Um, he's four. And he's nearly four. And this is Will. That's what he looks like. Um, and he's my only guinea pig now. And um, I'm really glad I've got Will because not all of my pets are missing now. And I feel like I haven't given Will enough attention recently because I've been so caught up in Peter that I haven't been able to. Crap. Um, I've been so caught up in Peter that I haven't been able to, you know, look after Will and spend as much time with Will. Um, so, yeah. I actually don't know why. I think I named him Will after Will I Am, actually. There we go, that's him. Um, he's a healthy guinea pig. Um, he's very, very good. Um, so yeah, I'll just put him back so he's getting irritated. He's eventually going to get Peter's cage. Yeah, he's eventually going to get Peter's cage. Um, and I'm going to make sure I handle Will a lot more now and give him, oh, that was zoomed in, and give him more attention and stuff. Um, but this was Peter's cage. Um, my mum and dad got me Peter for my ninth Christmas and they bought me this cage. And, um... They were in two separate cages because they f used to fight, so yeah. Um, this is Peter's ball, which I'm going to keep, um, because it reminds me of him, and he's had this since he was a little baby pig, so I'm going to keep this. And, um, it's empty. Oh my god, it's the worst feeling in the world, like, it really is, it's horrible, and to know that he's not coming back there. Like, he sort myself out. Sort myself out. This is not the Maybe It's Me Online you usually see on the internet. <laughs> Definitely not. This is his water bottle, and that was how much water was left. So, you know, he made... This was his nest over here that he made. That was his imprint of his nest in there. Um, yeah, I didn't really make too many guinea pig videos, but now, um, having two guinea pigs, I can make more videos about William. Um, I'm going to do that. It's just that Pete was so fragile that I didn't really want to, you know, pick him up too often or do anything. I was about to film some guinea pig videos a couple of weeks ago, actually. I was thinking about it, and it was too fragile for me to even pick him up. I had to pick him up in a towel. Um, and yeah, so I'm able to do videos with Will now because he's a healthy pig. Um, so yeah, so that's a good sign. So I'm going to clean this cage out and move Will and stuff. And um, yeah, Will's also going to go in this little space here. So he's going to get the bigger cage uh, because this one's smaller. Hello? Hello? So yeah, um, I'm going to go and finish this vlog now, actually. I'm going to finish this vlog now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!